Wow, how inspiring. You know what? Since not inspiring me, this weather, I just want to like stay inside the air conditioning. Well, you do that. Well, I will. That's I'll follow he, your directions. He's a smart man. Follow his directions. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go to the wall. Let's go to Cape May. You could go to the beach, though. Oh, looks nice. You could go down the shore, put your feet in the water. That is the place you would want to be because every place else is very warm out there. Uh, we're going to be looking at temperatures that are going to be well into the 90s. If you're at one of the shore points, on the beach with toes in the water, you won't make it quite there. Uh, we do have uh, these advisories and warnings out there. The entire area is under them. Now, what is the difference between the magenta that you see and the orange? Simply the heat index. Where you see the orange, yes, you're going to make it into the 90s, but your heat index is not going to make it above 105. So that's a lot of the shore points, Cumberland, Salem County. Uh, we're looking at the southern half of Delaware, Upper Bucks, Montgomery County, Upper Chester County, Lehigh Valley. Where you see the magenta, mainly along the I-95 corridor where there are a lot of buildings, a lot of concrete, a lot of stuff that can absorb the heat, keep it, and re-radiate it out. That is where we're expecting the heat index to go above 106. And we're not alone. The eastern seaboard, the Ohio Valley, the Tennessee Valley, the Midwest, and right on into the plains, all under these advisories and warnings. That is a huge piece of real estate under this heat dome. So we're looking at temperatures that are generally in the upper 80s and low 90s, 89 in Philadelphia, 91 in Atlantic City. The cooler spots up in the Lehigh Valley right now at 84. It's even cooler up in the Poconos. But let's factor in that moisture for everybody. Look at this. Feels like 99 at Wildwood. In Wilmington, it feels like 99. Millville, 99. Just knocking on the door of that 100 degree heat index. Uh, these are some things you're going to need to do out there for today. You're going to need to consider special care for your pets. They need to be in the shade with cool water, or better yet, just bring them in the house. Uh, nothing in the car. Don't leave any people, no pets in the car, because that car can get to about 125 to 145 degrees between 30 and 40 minutes, and that's deadly. And if you really need to cool down, and your air conditioner is broken, and I've been there, and I've done that, uh, just take some cool showers. Also, put some clothes in the freezer, then pull them out and put them on. It'll feel good. 98 in Philadelphia today, 88 down the shore, and 93 in the Lehigh Valley. You notice on the bottom, all those heat indices, those feels likes, are in the triple digits. Now, we're watching the system that's coming out of the Midwest. It's got several pieces to it. Storms are making their way into the Ohio Valley. We could see an isolated shower storm popping this evening. Not expecting it to be severe. But tomorrow, yes, we are at level two out of five. Slight risk of severe weather for the entire area as the main body of the cold front comes through. Wind, that will be our main threat, followed by hail, followed by a low end tornado threat. So we do have to be on guard for tomorrow afternoon. Let's walk through it very quickly. You can see a spotty shower storm popping up this evening and tonight. We are going to roll into our Saturday and you saw some of that rolling through early in the morning to the north and the west. Then we get some sun out and then here come these storms rolling through the area. Some of them could be on the heavy to severe side. So you do need to be aware of that. But I do have some good news after the 98 today and the 94 tomorrow and the storms. We cool down into the low 80s. We're out of the heat wave by the time we get into Sunday.